Could you get a lifetime worth of uses out of your multi-tool blades if you grab one of these sharp pogs? So if you haven't seen these, it's from Sharp Pog, and it's basically a whole pile of grinding blades all attached to this little setup, which goes onto your drill. And the idea is when your multi-tool blade gets blunt, we've all been there, we've all burnt them out. You then grab this and you basically grind some new teeth onto it. I haven't used this at all yet, so I'm really keen to see how it goes. I'll show you what blades I'm using. These are from Amazon. I do have and love Diablo blades. They're pretty much the best that I've used and they do last a long time, which is great, but they're just super expensive. You can easily pay 30 plus dollars just for the one blade, which is why I tried the Amazon ones. And I found that these did last quite a while. They got most of the jobs done. The Diablos are good as a backup if you've got something a little bit harder, but I did find these a lot cheaper and bang for buck, they're actually quite good. They were a pack of 20 of a variety from timber to buy metal, couple of different shapes for 30 bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. So that's why I'm wondering for $30 plus the POG, which was $45 USD. I think that's about 65 Australian plus delivery. It was about $100 to buy and get it here. And if we can get all this for under $150 and they last years, if not almost a lifetime for myself, I don't use multi-tool blades that often. But if we can get more than 10 uses out of these, I, I, I really don't know how many uses you could get with sharpening them, but that's what we're gonna have a look at today. Before we do anything else, I did notice that some won't fit into these. So they are only gonna be for certain multi-tool blades like that, and just in case you are wondering. So we're looking at 38. Yeah, 38 mil. 38 millimeters is the maximum. These are about 34, 35. This one must be about 40, 43. So we'll start off by bluntening. Let's go the timber. So that's the, the timber version. Before we start, we'll do a bit of a practice run, yeah? So it likes to cut pretty well. So you can see they're still sharp. They are definitely a good little blade for the price. They definitely think that is enough. We'll see if this even works. <laughs> they actually work still pretty well. That's almost unfortunate. Uh, I might need to blunt it a bit more. All right, I'd say that's pretty cooked. So we'll get onto the sharpener. Wow. There's some teeth. So it definitely doesn't take long. There's some serious teeth. So right now, I really do think this is gonna work. I ha haven't used it yet, but what do you guys think? The different teeth, but it'll definitely get you out of a bind. But let's see how it works. Okay. Okay. Blades look fine. So that's the timber blade. At the moment, I'll rate it. It's maybe not as good as the original blades. It doesn't look like they're quite as sharp. And obviously they're not gonna be pointed like they originally were because the tips of these uh, blades are flat. They're, they're just like a normal disc. So then they're, they're not at all pointed. So you're not gonna get that pointed edge on the multi-tool blade, but I think that'll definitely get you out of a bind, as I said. All right, I guess we try the bimetal blade. That's gonna be hot. I'm not sure if you can see that, it says bimetal. So we're gonna go a couple of nails or five, five nails, something nice and easy. I know these do get through nails, so it shouldn't be any problem. I've got it on one. I do recommend doing it on a lower speed with all these cheaper ones, or even any multi-tool blade. I find it does last a little bit longer. Yep.
So there is a little tiny bit of damage on that. But you'd be able to keep going. But we'll destroy these. We'll go straight to the metal. <laughs> so that's definitely, definitely no good. So I am presuming that this won't even get through that. So my main problem with this one is going to be that it's not fine enough if you know what I mean. So before it was a lot finer, which is probably better for the metal, but we'll see how it goes. We've got five nails again, going to one. <laughs> um, yeah, right. I wonder, I wonder if we just do it a little bit. You know what I mean? Not not so deep, because I don't know if you can see those blades are destroyed. That's it's maybe a third of the way through that nail. So we're back to blunt again. I'm only going to do it a tiny bit. I wonder if I can like double it up at all. I reckon after a bit of practice, I think you could get pretty good at this because that looks very close to a blade, but they're actually sharp tipped. I don't know how I achieved that, but I did it from both sides. That's a no from me for the buy metal, at least on the smaller stuff. I think it's just because of that finer blade uh, that was able to get through the nail, maybe Maybe for some larger metal, it might be all right, where it's not such a thin, uh, small surface area. So as you can see, you're just losing, losing those teeth quick. Before I finish up, I do want to try one last thing. I was wondering how deep you could go with this. If we, we could do like a five millimeter blade. I wonder what that would look like. We'll give that a go, but tell me what you guys think so far. For me, I think if you're just doing timber, you're not cutting into too much metal, then that's definitely going to work. I think it's a good option to have rather than having to buy more and more and more blades. I absolutely hate buying multi-tool blades. And it does mean you can buy the cheaper ones rather than buying maybe the Diablo. I do love Diablo. I'm sorry, guys, but they're just, they're just too expensive to go through. And I would love to hear everyone else's thoughts on the cheaper blades. Have you tried them? Have you not tried them? What blades are you using? Do you rate the Diablos? But let's give this a go and see how big a blades we can make. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. That's actually pushing them all over. I don't want to touch that. That's going to be really hot. But um, you can see the little blades on the side. They're about to come off. <laughs> this looks sick. Oh, I should sell these as multi-tool blades. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you could use them on. That's going to be hot with some pliers. Look at that. They're actually very sharp. They come, come to a fine tip. That's bloody awesome. Well, there's not much more to say. I definitely rate it. If I'm doing much multi-tool work at work, I'm definitely going to throw this in the bag but let me know what you guys think. And also let me know if there's any other tools you want me to review, to try to see if it's any good rather than you having to buy it because that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. So hope you enjoyed, catch you later. <laughs> ah.